All right, guys, here's another update on the Winnebago. We've got the transmission, we sent it out. We got it back from PD's transmissions up in Phoenix. They did a great job. I got a billet single disc torque converter and I'm ready to stab it in and I need to take the turbo off. So I'm going to pull that off real quick. Oh, and my wheel broke. That's what I get for buying stuff at Harbor Freight. Look at that. It's ridiculous. So I got some new ones. I installed one of them. So far, so good. I did the t killer dowel pin this morning. Show you some pictures of that. And resealed it. Resealed all this stuff. New crank seal, new gasket for the timing cover. And let's put it in. <laughs> He's a master mechanic, he's got a fix for that. He's a master mechanic. Alright, it's in position. That's pretty good, I think. I think that's far enough back. You got plenty of room up front for the radiator and intercooler, AC condenser, trans cooler. You got plenty of room for the turbo right there. Everything's connected over here. Might need to just cut away from the floor real quick for that shut off solenoid. That wiring's pretty close. I am excited. I do need to beef up the frame. Get all that ready for putting an engine mount in. I need to get rid of those old engine mount brackets. Those don't need to be there. It looks like they can get unbolted. Um, I might come up a little bit higher just so I can get some good strength or I'll do a totally different engine mount because those are really low. I'm okay with the engine mount, the engine oil pan being this low. I'll just do some kind of skid plate to protect it, but it's looking good. I got a buddy right. that's going to come over and help me do the welding and doing that stuff, and we're getting it done. Thanks for watching. Touching the steering linkage on the bottom of the oil pan and my trans pan. The cross member is in the wrong spot. It needs to move back six inches. Because I'd like to move the engine back at least another two or three just so the oil pan can be fully exposed right there. And I've got plenty of room up top, so it can be a little tighter that back. Looks like I need to unbolt that. Maybe that's what I'll do next. Unbolt that guy. <laughs>